G'day, it's Rob Mirror Game. Well, today we're going to look at a situation that you can come up against at times when you're turning, and that is, say you've got something like this, an armature, you want to clean up a commutator, or say it's uh, something else. And the problem you've got is that on the end of the, of the shaft, it's a plain end. It's a plain end that end, and it's a plain end to that end. Now you can grip this in collets on the headstock end, but then how do you support the the other end if you have not a centre to work with, and you don't want to mark the bearing surface because this wall this runs in bushes. So how do you do it? How do you support that? Well, I showed you in that last video how you can make up one of these. It's a countersunk, or otherwise known as a cup, dead centre. The way these work is that they they sit like that. So the end of the shaft on these always has a little, more generally has a little shoulder on them and you just put that in the tailstock and that'll support it while you turn the, the job. Obviously turning copper is not going to be very high loading but you can use these with even tungsten carbide and you'll get as much support out of this type of end as you'll get out of the regular dead centre end. The only thing is that it's doing it in the reverse order. So basically, it's a reverse image of what you would normally use on a, a dead centre or a live centre. Now a lot of people don't use dead centres because they think they're old old hat, you know, dead centre, why would you use a dead centre? Well quite often you can have clearance problems where you can't get the tool post in to position correctly and a dead centre will give you, if it would fit on this job, will give you a lot more clearance from the the quill and the tail stock than you'll get with a, a live centre because live centres are generally fairly bulky whereas a dead centre in that form or this form are both going to be quite compact. So how well do these work? These work very very well. I'll set it up in the, the old Shorblum and we'll make believe we're going to turn this, well I will turn this down. This is just a junked armature out of a power tool. But it's a good opportunity to show you how you would do this. Now the other alternative is that you can try and locate it with a fixed steady. But you're going to be right in against the fixed steady. And there's a good chance that uh, the carriage won't let you come in and... Uh, get the tooling onto it. So really this is the only only way to go and if you ever go to auto electrician's shop the guy does armatures you'll have one or two of these laying around because this will be this staple diet for the for the work. Okay let's do it. Alright we'll put her in with the oil hole pointing upwards because we have to feed it some oil. We'll put in the job. Once again, I'll be using collets because they are the best way to grip this stuff, particularly if you've got gears or threads and you don't want to mark them with a regular chuck. Collet chuck saves all that from happening. Bring up our tail stop. Okay. So, I'll lock up the, lock up the collar. Yeah, 
put some oil in the pots already. So now we're good to go. All I have to do now is pull this up onto it slightly, just a bit of pressure. Put some oil in it, so we'll do that. And a bit in here as well. Now the beauty of this cup centre is that it's got a, a decent sized oil reservoir at the back of the shaft. Whereas a dense, dead centre comes in on a point in the, in, the, in the regular style, well there's only a very tiny oil reservoir at the end of the dead centre hole for that to work. So these will always run a lot cooler, these cup type, cup type uh, centres than uh, a pointy than a pointy centre. So, okay, let's get on with it. Okay, we'll fire it up. Good. That's the way it should be. Yeah, nice. Okay, that was an easy job. Let's put a bit of uh, steel in it and we'll machine steel with, with carbide to show you how well it works on carbide. So here's the job. As you can see close up, there's no marking or discoloration on the end of the shaft whatsoever. It's perfectly preserved and you wouldn't get that any other way really. The same on our cup dead centre. There's a little bit of polishing inside where I've used it for the first time. But apart from that, it's good as when I made it. And a lot of that's due to the oil, the fact that it's got all that oil that's sitting between the end of the shaft and the outlet in the centre. There's a real reservoir there, so it runs very cool. Unlike a pointy dead centre with little oil, uh, they tend to easily overheat. But this type of dead centre will run cool, very well lubricated and it supports the, the work extremely well, equally as, as well as a, a pointy centre. It just seems a bit strange when you're doing it this way. It seems counterintuitive, I suppose, but it is actually a very secure way of locating a shaft. OK, I'll do some steel in it with a carbide insert to show you that it is capable of taking good side loads and that'll be it. To do this I'll use this bit of old scrap steel shaft here that I've played around with I'm messing around with a parting off blade on it. As you can see it's got a plain end so I'll have to just put a little shoulder on it so that it sits perfectly well and on the other end is another example of where you bug it if the centre is, is off centre. This is a, a hole drilled but it's way, way out of alignment. So once again you can use the, the cup centre to locate this sort of bodged up end as well. Okay, I'll just put a, a chamfer on it with the, limit, with the linisher, just touch it on that and uh, we're good to go.
that's all you need. So once again you can see no damage to the end, no bluing, job turned out okay. I marked it up and it's, it's uniform and there's no bluing or marking inside of the cup either. So yeah, for this sort of work this is the way to go. They're easy to make as I showed in that last video and where they put the work load it on this end or at the chuck ends up to you just depends on the configuration of what you're turning but certainly it's a, it's a very handy gadget to have in the in the tool kit easy to make and yeah it'll get you out of trouble when you don't have a center center point or the center point is totally useless okay that's it from me till next time see you around cheers